Hello, I am Dr. Raghunath Reddy. I am consultant pulmonologist and critical care specialist at Sunshine Hospitals, Sikandrabad. In the last videos, we spoke about the virus and the epidemiology of the virus. In this video, I am going to talk about the symptoms of the uh, new coronaviral disease and treatment. The symptoms are very variable in coronaviral disease. It can be asymptomatic to very subtle symptoms like cold and cough to very severe symptoms. The common symptoms are fever, high grade fever, cough which can be productive or non-productive and body pains, malaise and breathlessness. These are very common symptoms which you can see in any viral illnesses, respiratory viral illnesses, the symptoms are almost the same. Some patients develop uh, severe respiratory distress and they can uh, land up in ARDS. About 20% of the patients become critically ill developing ARDS that is acute respiratory distress syndrome. They can develop renal failure or multi-organ failure and the mortality in these patients is as high as 3 to 15%. The only way to diagnose coronavirus disease right now is examination of the respiratory secretions and then getting a reverse transcriptase PCR on them identifying the coronavirus. The, it is confirmed by our viral laboratory at Pune. But there are nodal centers in every city where the uh, test can be done but confirmation is done through virology lab in Pune. The x-ray can show bilateral infiltrates and uh, the blood investigations will show non-specific viral infection markers like lymphopenia, transaminitis and uh, raised LDH levels. But these are not specific for coronavirus disease. It can occur in any other viral diseases. The diagnostic modality or the diagnosis can be done only through PCR based tests of the respiratory secretions. Commonly throat swab or nasal swab, the sputum or bronchoalveolar lavage should be sent for reverse transcriptase PCR based tests to diagnose coronavirus diseases. There is no specific treatment for coronavirus disease as of now. There are two to three antiviral drugs which have shown some promise in treating the virus. The recently, the Chinese government has approved favilavir, uh, antiviral drug which is used against Ebola and chikungunya virus as effective treatment for uh, coronavirus disease and it is being uh, treated in the with favilavir. There is also one another antiviral drug, Ramdesivir, has shown some effect in studies in Europe and USA. And a few physicians in Thailand, they have uh, showed that a cocktail of uh, three antiviral drugs like Oseltamivir, Lopinavir and Ritonavir have shown cure in coronavirus disease patients. But majority of the patients require uh, only uh, supportive treatment and if the patient is critically ill developing ARDS and multi-organ failure, he has to be treated in an ICU with ventilation and uh, dialysis if needed and a supportive care. How to prevent the infection and exposure and spread of coronavirus? You have to wash your hands frequently. Hand washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. And if soap and water are not available, you can use alcohol based sanitizers. You have to avoid touching eyes, nose, mouth with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick and whom you suspect are having coronavirus disease. Cover whenever you cough or sneeze with a tissue and discard the tissue in a contained trash. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Seek medical attention if you believe you have exposure and have symptoms of uh, cold, cough and fever. You have to avoid eating undercooked or raw uh, animal products. I want to talk about the masks, the N95 masks and the normal surgical masks. They do not have any protection against coronavirus disease or any viral diseases as such. Because the size of the pores in the N95 mask or surgical mask is bigger than the size of coronavirus. So, Coronavirus disease cannot be prevented, the infection cannot be uh, prevented by just using a surgical mask or a N95 mask.